back to Seat Story Cup 3. Kriparian, Artosis, and Savitz here on the couch for a wonderful match coming up. It's going to be Life Coach against Show. Wow. Like, yep. It doesn't get much better than that. No, that's pretty sick, man. Show just won the most recent tournament, right? There yeah, wasn't a tournament in the two days that I traveled here, was there? The biggest online tournament so far. Yeah. He just won it, and Life Coach has been one of the hottest players early on this year, and he's been really consistent and... He's been rank one yeah. on Ghost of Gamers, right? Yeah, he has. Oh. I'm, I don't know where he's right now, but uh, he's been he's still up there somewhere. Yeah, his his win percentage since GVG came out is like in the mid 90s. Wow, that's pretty sick, actually. All right, what do you guys think? Who takes this one? Who's the better player here? Uh, they I both seem pretty hot. They are pro both really good, but I think that just um, looking at the lineups, I actually think that Life Coach has it. Tiny advantage. We're talking about it with Show and just kind of like figuring out like what's the big big and bands because I, I know Show personally better. So we we're planning it a bit and it was like it was quite tricky actually. Uh, you know, I, guys, I have to say I'm leaning towards Life Coach winning this, uh, and here's why. I was first off, he's old like me and he is a kid like me, but also I was in the grocery store uh, okay. before uh, yesterday, I think, yeah, and I was about to check out and I had bananas and mixed nuts. And then someone tapped me on the show. I turn around. It's life coach. I'm like, oh, hey, man, because we're in the same hotel. And Did he have bananas and mixed nuts. He had bananas hands? and mixed nuts. Really? And he's like, oh, I, I see you have the bananas. I'm like, yeah, man, this is the best yeah. thing to eat when you're traveling to an event. And he's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, my God, you have nuts. I have those, too. Wow. So, anyways, the guy is obviously a fucking genius and <laughs> going to take this down. I have to say, I think you're a little biased in this uh, I'm not. explanation here. No. Mm. All right, we're going into game one here. <laughs> All right. <coughs> it's like Show going to open I up with Druid I against the pally on. of Life Coach? Yep. Mm -hmm. We are talking this through with Show, and uh, we did figure it out that Life Coach's opening deck would be the Paladin. But uh, I don't know why Show is starting with the Druid. I guess Life Coach yeah, that's banned something Yeah, that's a great matchup, is it? Then. It's okay, and like uh, I think Life Coach is running something like Gazan in his pally, yeah, so that's not a good card to have. They both banned Warlock, actually. Okay, so that was a that's why uh, this happened. Hmm. It was like what we planned with Show was that uh, he would have been stopping with the Warlock against this Paladin. <laughs> I have to say, I think the matches tomorrow in the playoffs are going to be some of the craziest ones because you you'd be playing bans off decks that you probably think might beat you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you really have no clue. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty weird. It's quite a unique format. Mm. Yeah, it really is with the ban. Uh, it was actually kind of funny, like especially when the Hunter deck that went 06 or 07 or whatever. Yeah. Well, I guess it could only go 06, but uh, when that got banned, it was just like, whoa, this is... Because <laughs> you, you just kind of look at it, you're like, okay, I think I know what this is. So what right. do you do here? Do you coin an Acolyte or do you dude? Let or do you take think. 89 seconds and then an <laughs> Acolyte or dude? <laughs> well, you take you well. take some time. I don't know if coining out the Acolyte really does anything. I think it's just hero power. Any yeah. potential? Well, no, if you coin out the Acolyte and then he does any kind of innervate or big play, you can then all door that yes. and then Acolyte and start the card advantage. But it requires specifically that innervate mm. 5 drop to, to be effective because um, most likely the Druid turn 3 would be a shade or nothing. Yeah. Alright, so he plays the Acolyte. Now he's hoping for Shio to actually pick up something. <laughs> I think he actually just. Your power pass. I would wrath it. You like wrath? I think so. I think it's okay. Like uh, with the Aldor and stuff. Yeah. yeah you, d you. I mean, if he Aldors something and starts, he draws two cards off this. That's pretty bad. Yeah, it's uh, not like the greatest fraud of all time, but it's it, it gets the job done. Now it's out of the way. And uh, life coach did use the coin for that, so you don't feel as bad of wrathing it and yeah. giving him a draw. I it's wonder. like ha one for one, one for a half a card. Or so. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, mm, could be hero power I, if he wants to hero power Minibot next turn, but for this turn, the Minibot seems like the strongest play. Yeah, I have to say, looking at the hands here, uh, just as a player that mm. plays 90% of his games as Control Paladin, I'm looking at this hand for Life Coach. Looks fantastic. I would feel really confident with a hand like this. Just seems like he has basically all the tools he needs until he'll draw into other stuff, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean, but I actually think it's a little bit slow. Like, yeah, he's missing the true silver. Oh, he's playing it slow too, he just dude it. Yeah, it's because he, he's planning on the mini bot next turn. Because if he mini bot here, then next turn he might just hero power and be floating that two mana. Yeah. 
And the life coach likes to be efficient with his plays. And, uh, yeah. and he does have a quartermaster too, so it could work out with that. There's a quality turn. For Emperor, yeah, you really don't want to equality this. But unless he picks up a true silver, he yeah. has to. I think you really do want to equality this. He has to. I mean, what, yeah. you, what you want to do is you <laughs> want to top deck a true silver champion. Yeah. But uh, that unfortunately did not happen, so we're going to see the equality. I mean, he, you can't leave that up. There's no, no way. Certainly. Not against Druid. Already he's probably dead because of it, right? <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, the, not dead this turn, of course, but we're going to see some shenanigans later on. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Shoei would love to keep his uh, Emperor alive here, but I mean, he won't be too sad to see the equality gone so early. Because that's one of the key cards against Druid, because sometimes Druid can uh, get a lot of power on the board. And now, one thing to, uh, to keep yeah. in mind is, what, while you may have seen these players play, uh, I don't think Artois and I have seen either play. Not this, not this weekend, yeah. Yeah. So I, mean, I really have no idea what this person is next. Like, is, is it a two equality paladin? Yeah, I actually don't know. I life coach usually like a lot of players have been cutting one equality lately, and that's like the trend. But yeah. life coach is one of those players who goes a bit, little bit greedier than average on his decks, and he goes more for the late game. So it's possible that he plays two. I actually can't rem can know or remember if he if he plays two or one or one or two. But um, that potentially was the only equality he has. Yeah. Uh, either way, he had to do it. But yeah, I would really hope for his sake that he has uh, two in there now. Mm hmm. This is actually looking kind of nice for Shio right now, I think. Oh, but there's True Silver. It's not perfect, though. If he had one more mana, it would be like the easiest True Silver Alder. Yeah. Like he, he, here, you, with the, with the Beltran board, in the order to protect it, he is likely to Alder the 5-5. The five five. There's, there's not that many better targets for it. But it also what makes do you think about Consecrate? Attack the 2-4, Consecrate, so when the 5-5 five five attacks in, it trades, and if it doesn't, uh, you True Silver next turn? I, don't, I actually don't, I don't know. like that so much. I, I actually like uh, the True Silver and mm -hmm. Dude, and hit the 2-4, attack face, and you're lining up a Consecration for later on. Like, whatever he for plays, you have, yeah. you'll have the, the Slime, a Dude, and True Silver, and a Consecrate. I actually, yeah. I actually like that a lot, because the, the, the Druid of the... I mean, the... Ancient of Floor is likely to attack into the Belcher, which is going to set it up at 2 HP. Yeah. And also, all of the Druid lists run 2 Shade, so you kind of want to like maybe hold on to the Consecration and wait for the Shade. Mm -hmm. it, it buys you some time. It's uh, mm. I like it. And the thing is, you can always finish off the Sword if you don't feel the Consecration is good, so... Yeah. Uh, Not too bad. That's... Mm. I like it. And uh, again, I still... I'm, lo I'm loving the hand, man. He has so much utility here. <laughs> the hand of <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oof. Oh, that's pretty rough with the double wild crowd at, at this stage. And even the big game hunter is struggling to find a target right now. The only target is the Doctor Boom, isn't it? Yeah, most likely. Yeah. It's it's quite uncommon to see uh, Ragnaros in Paladin. Yeah, a few players I heard well, were Ragnaros like every deck for this tournament. What about Shredder beside Tyrion spawning a doggy? Oh. Whoa. What a fantastic way to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you should definitely hold on for the big game. Because <laughs> that's so likely. It yeah. happens every now and then. Mm. But for this turn, I think uh, there's not all that much to do, to be honest. Mm. I think it's just like Shredder and... Yeah. Ugh, you don't want I would swipe, hero power, but though. I mean... Slime, like... That's about it. I think you might want to swipe here after killing the Belcher. Because you do have two swipes. It doesn't feel great, but it's like the options are so limited. I would, I would swipe really? this line. Yeah. It feels bad, but... Oh, it, it, why would he swipe the face? Yeah, well... I think he should have... Huh. I don't know. I, I think I'm just such a greedy go. player that I, I was looking at hero power into the slime to set up a better swipe the next turn, possibly, because the hand okay. is so weak. But, I mean... Yeah, he does have two swipes, so... Yeah, I, I think burning a swipe there was I fine, wonder. but I was a bit surprised by the, that it went to the face. Because I think the slime might be uh, relevant. And it's only like three extra damage. Yeah. Because he doesn't even have the combo yet. If he had the combo, or if the Paladin was lower on HP already, then it would make more sense. But the Paladin was 28, and he has a True Silver, which is going to heal. Yeah. Well, uh... Mm. Well, I feel like I, I would pop just the Shredder right here. vegan sausage. Yeah, it looks... It looks actually pretty good. It smells wow. pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with that. I have a feeling it's exactly the same as the vegan <laughs> meat from two days ago. <laughs> You're probably right. Where it smells good, it's tastes just a different fine. Shape. It just tastes like, you know, used tire. Mm. <laughs> Could be. But uh, I would I would say here, I like popping this. 
popping the shredder? Yeah, because oh, there's a lot of options he could have done. There's so many different plays. Seems like he's planning to consecrate here. He's hoping to, that it's going to be something small. And it is. Just test the consecration. I, yeah. Yeah, I guess that it, that makes sense. I feel like I would have saved him just in case you pop something big. Like, it, mm -hmm. well, I guess there's not that much with four health that comes out of Shredder, so that was fine. Yeah, it was very likely that that works out for him. Oh, what an ugly turn for Shredder here. There's like nothing to do. Yeah, he draws the Harrison right after that sword is yeah, gone. Yeah, it's such a great card against Paladin, but not right now. Well, you know that does make it so he doesn't necessarily have to silence the the Tyrion. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a good yeah. thing. Feels bad to use the last yeah. swipe because you know that if there's like a master for battle coming in, it's gonna hurt a lot. But on, yeah. the, on the other hand, like if there's a master, the quartermaster might. Because we are at eight mana now, so if there's a master for battle, the quartermaster might come on the same turn, so you yeah. can't swipe the dudes anyway. Yeah, this swipe uh, might not have been quite as useful. Okay, right, this is getting exciting. Yeah, Tyrion is. Uh, it's one of the most painful cards for the druid to deal with, but there's the Harrison ready and waiting. <laughs> Let's see he, he what he ends up doing here. Yeah, he needs to build that. Huh. first. He doesn't really have anything good against that right now. I mean, it's yeah. going to be great when he... Yeah, the game is so slowed down because of this Tyrion. Yeah. Like, look at that. Has to take it to phase. Ouch. And as life coach here, you're like, well... <laughs> you know, this is... Wow. This looks pretty good. He's already done six damage. Yeah, that's a great card to draw. With nine mana, it goes perfectly I with wonder. the Belcher. I would be really surprised to see anything else but the Belcher Shredder here. Yeah. I mean, he could silence his own Tyrion, but that's... Uh, and that's there's still bad. not, like, a good play here. I guess he could... Oh, God. There's really yeah, there's not a very nothing. good play. Like, yeah. it, he might have to charge the Druid or something if he draws nothing. Oh, wait, no, he has a Savage Roar. He can use that. Now there's something, but uh, then that means that he can't use the Harrison same turn. Okay. Just oh. like a... Ooh. I don't know. Yes, 13 damage. The thing is, Paladin doesn't ever... <laughs> Paladin doesn't ever really have burst. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I can see him playing that. Oh, uh, desperation. But, yeah. I mean, you don't want a wild growth here, but just the, the stuff that he has in his run, hand right now are not good enough. Yeah. He's hoping to pick up a Wrath here so he could go Wrath on the... On the that would have been perfect. Tyrion and then uh, Harrison afterwards, but he doesn't find it. Yeah, only only uh, one Wrath left in the deck as well. Yeah, I have tried the Vegan Wars, then it's not it's not that bad. Good. I'll I'll definitely give that a try afterwards. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, what do we got here? Oh, Doctor Boom. Good. Yeah, it's always good. Oh, Wasn't well, turn bad. seven though, so. Yeah, but if if the Sludge Belcher attacks the Boom Bite, it's going to kill the Sludge Belcher, and then if <laughs> Tyrion attacks the Boom Bite, it's going to kill the Shredder, and the Shredder's going to be a, a sheep. <laughs> That is a lot of damage. Oh, right this there. is so funny. It's actually lethal if the com if the boom bots kill that. If the boom bots kill that Tyrion, it's lethal. Bam! Oh Just my like god. That. Lethal. Okay, lethal not miss. Okay. Wow. <laughs> well, wait. The no. Yeah. The boom bots are on the wrong side. I thought I was actually looking at him like, wait, it's it's lethal if they kill the Tyrion, and I was looking at him like, what? No, okay, so he has a silence for the. Sludge Belch. Oh, wait. No, you mean the Paladin gets lethal. I'm not yeah. used to that. <laughs> paladin getting lethal so quickly. But, uh... It worked out pretty well. Paladin does yeah. work. Does does win this. Absolutely. As it should, being the greatest class in Hearthstone. The most fun. Is it still? Well, it's definitely the most fun. Is it? No. Yeah. Not even close. Making dudes is the most fun thing you can do in Hearthstone. No, mm. killing dudes is way more fun. Killing dudes is pretty fun, too, actually. That's why I love Pally vs. Pally. <laughs> All right, well, um, show drop in the first game, that kind of sucks for him. Yeah, it sure does. That Paladin so strong, but now it's out of the way. It's Conquest after all, so he won't get 3-0 by it. Coach left with Mage and Druid. Yeah. It's Yo with uh, Mage and Druid and a Warrior. I'm not I think Mage on. probably coming, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, he actually okay. chose Druid. Okay. okay, that's one for Shio right there. Yeah. He's coming for Show. Uh, he, he got the Mech Mage. Yeah, so it's Mech Mage against, the druid. against uh, probably the exact Druid deck that we just saw. Yeah, so I would it's definitely not that much variation the in Druid these days, is there? 
No, not too much. But I Only think, Garas. <laughs> I think Life Coach might have one Kezan in there. I'm not sure. Sylvanas is a little unusual, but not that unusual. Yeah, like it used to be a, a staple, but now with the Emperor, some people have got it mm -hmm. for the Emperor because you can you don't necessarily want to have both. Yeah, so you can only play one of them on turn six. All right, there's a wild scrot. So oh, look at that, Mech Warper and Mech. And then, oh, okay. Ooh. that is on. actually a pretty important card in this matchup. I feel like every uh, every uh, I've yeah. seen this exact match a lot of times in the past well, three days. And every time it's like a mirror entity that just shuts the game out. Yeah. Good thing of a show is that he hasn't thrown any any uh, scientist or secret just yeah. yet. So yeah. that Kazan is not doing anything for now. If it is the case that um, Kazan is, because you guys mentioned it's probably in his Paladin deck, it's also in his Druid deck. Mm -hmm. Is it? In oh, every he did deck? have one in the Paladin deck. No, um, I thought Savis mentioned that I think he, he probably does. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought he, he might have one. We, we hadn't seen the games, like but he, uh, some of the other players are a bit more involved than we are yeah. in what's going on. Yeah. I, I didn't watch the games m myself, but that's what I've been hearing that Life Coach has been like having those one one guess on like almost every deck. Oh, okay, so. that's I I like that though. Yeah, I think it's really it's smart. like Mage is one of the huge decks right now. It has been yeah. for like a month. It's been in like every player's lineup. Yeah, but guess on is also. Right. Gesson is also one of those cards which can really like hurt you if you play it against non-secret decks because you, you can easily lose a game game by having it instead of like a shredder. Definitely, because the four pre-silence shredder yeah. is pretty bad. The four three body is way more punishing than uh, than the five four from the Harrison because oh. usually Harrison tr gets one for one even like if it doesn't land on a weapon. But if Gesson doesn't land on a secret, it's it's uh, absolutely terrible. Yeah. Actually, I'd say that four health is actually still quite low. I think five is is the big number. Yeah, five is the big true. number, but like just from my experience of mm -hmm. playing Harrison's against weaponless decks, it's it's not. I don't feel like a complete idiot. No. If I find a place to play it, I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. thank God. It's not you know? bad at all. Yeah, it, it, it contests the sludge belcher and uh, yeah, yeah. And dealing four is like okay. Well, piloted shredder can trade up quite well against it, but still, like, like just a fiery war axe isn't enough or a wrath. Yeah. What do you think about this? What do you think about um, popping the the Yeti here? The Yeti would in, would incite a swipe, which is kind of uh, bad. With what? From uh, from show side, you, you think it's Yeti or Shredder? He goes with the Shredder, I guess. Mm. Yeah, I think the Shredder is more sticky. Yeah, yeah. And because you get to play the Shredder, you don't even need to think about the Tinker Town. You have so many mechs in your hand. That's right. Really fortunate for sure to not to, not to draw it to any of those secrets. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It's so devastating when it happens. At least you know he's staying pretty on curve here. Life coaches. He's yeah, coach's hand is amazing. Yeah, both of the players actually have quite nice hands, but because of the wild growth, I feel like life coach is slightly ahead right now. Mm. Okay. Point taken. Oh. Yeah. oh wow. Well, that's an interesting one, isn't it? So weird. It Trying to sucks. figure out how bad it exactly it is. It's bad. Like right now, you really wanted to uh, to play the tinker. I feel. Yeah, you might have to play the spider tank. No way. Oh, the tinker's better. The spider tank. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, it's awful. It's truly awful. But you have to play it. You can't. Yeah. You can't fall behind so much. No. Yeah. Something needs oh tinkering. god. Here comes the other sheep. It's like nine. <laughs> the, the other sheep. Yeah. It's gonna be another sheep. It's always the same. Oh, oh. wow. Well, Still quite bad though. Yeah. Wrath for one deals with the board by itself. That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, Wrath for one. It's a good move. Yeah. Let's see what you get. Or you can just run it in and keep. Nah, I don't like that. Just go for the Wrath. He might pick up like a till his last trader or maybe a shade. Something to play here. I think, I think if you want to play the keeper, you just do so afterwards. Yeah, it's fine. Just there's not that many no things to silence in, in mech. No, Mage. not really. Usually, no. you don't think of silence is the the mad scientist, but you're quite happily. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you see, he doesn't need it for that. And also, like one of the pilot is Redis. That's the other common target. For yeah. It, so that's already like out of the way. So uh, I think that's fair. Just go for the right for one and see from there. Play the keeper as a as a minion just for the two have to, yeah. If you have yeah. to. Yeah. Okay. Likes to keep the rot, it seems. Yeah. Oh, actually, I like that. Yeah, it's pretty I nice. Mean, it, the belts are next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cycling is nice, but you don't need to do it this turn because you already have a great play for next turn. I really like that. That's great. Yeah, not bad at all. I think his turn next... I think his next turn is actually not that good, though. 
What to do? The next turn of life coach? Yeah. That's not bad. Hmm. It's not bad, but it's turn seven. Like, actually, it's fine now. There's a he can go, like, Rats a little better turn seven. Huh? There's uh, a card that's a little better on turn seven. Huh. He doesn't have it, though. Maybe if he had Wrath, he would, though. Yeah. Do you swipe here? No, probably just, like, Belts and Wrath. Yeah, yeah. Kill off that Yeti. Leave him with a one-two. You have a what? taunt. His hand is still pretty good, even though that Wild Growth yeah. is a little bit clunky. You probably don't want to swipe yet, because you know that there's Clockwork Gnomes and there's Anoya Drones, so the swipe mm. is going to, like, get the collateral values at some point. I think those minions are going to come out very slowly, though. I think swipe. I think using swipe in general is okay here. Yeah, I mean, it would clear the board. And what are you doing with Swipe, though? What? Mm. Swipe on the Yeti, Wrath for one on the Yeti, 2-4 into Cog Master when he's down. Yeah, it works. I don't like that as much as just trading this off and getting the Belcher out there. Okay. Seems alright. I mean... Which one, Savits, you choose? Who's okay. smarter, me or Crit? The swipe would actually, I think, I feel like it would be better here, but I, I, think I would go for the sludge myself. I, 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 that, that looks like a better play, because you, because I feel like that was very I, political. I, I feel like there's more more swipe value later on, so I would I would wait with the swipe. Oh, he's doing something completely different. <laughs> okay, that okay. Wrath, that wrath for one was really unexpected. That attack face is really unexpected. Yeah, yeah, I'm, as well, yeah, everything about that turn feels unexpected. Well, but he was getting to rope. Up, he's yeah. setting up a, a really good swipe, I guess. Seems that way, yeah. But he's also not doing much on the board. No, and like fireball which should be pretty often good. Often sets you up to die. He doesn't. The, ma the fireball is kind of awkward with the mana, though. Like usually in this situation, you could just like, okay, well, fireball that and like, because you have to get rid of the belcher, and he doesn't have a five attack minion on the board. Do. You don't want to set I your. I think you just uh, blast mage. See what happens. Maybe even throw in the cog, cogsmith first. Cogmaster, whatever <laughs> cogsmith. that is. Cogsmith. Cogsmith. <laughs> I don't play mech mage, man. Oh, do you know cogsmith. Many, do you know how many times I've seen that card in arena? Yeah. Like two. Wow. And every time I'm really happy, I do, because there's usually no mech after it. <laughs> I love cogsmith. It's fantastic. Oh. Well, I can't complain about that, aren't you, I guess? Yeah, that was fine. Look at that. Oh, that's a good try. Yeah, I'm playing around the swipe. I like it. Cogsmith. That is great. Weaponsmith, Armorsmith, Cogsmith. Yeah. Swipe does still clear, but at least the Keeper needs to go in, too. Mm -hmm. Well, that's exactly what's going to happen here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And a zombie show. Yeah, why not? Yeah. And a hero part of the face. And you're out of cards. And innervate into wild growth. <laughs> innervate into wild growth. Turn eight. Oh, I didn't think of that. That's so good. Yeah, that's a tricky one, I know. Yeah. It's going to be so crazy if we got like a time rewinder from the, yet, from the area and he can like get on twice. I actually think the mage is going to win this by, by quite a quite a wide margin. Well, I think it has to... I, I feel like the turn that he it's had gonna... before this was like a real weak play. Like the, the belcher and then attack face type of thing. I think it's gonna come down to whether like, whether or not Sio plays the mirror entity because that's what where things are gonna go bad. Yeah, that's true. But Sio does know. We talked about it before the game. He does know that there's a guess on in there, so he might be playing around it. It's not a surprise. I think he might play mirror entity at the point where it makes no difference, triggering like a fourth fireball of Antonitis. Yeah, could be. Yeah. Because um, I think Antonitis is gonna come down with at least one spare part, mm -hmm. and the turn after that we might see mirror entity. Mm -hmm. But at that point, it's over. And I don't think uh, Life Push is going to be able to kill Antonitis, at least right now. Yeah. Well, I guess he could with Force of Nature and probably the Zombie Chow. Uh, that really looks like a turn for the mirror entity, but it, I mean, let's just see if he can play around the Gazan, which is they're ready and waiting. Looks like you're getting a stuff delivery. I like stuff. Do you? You don't like the stuff in those boxes. No, is that like taxes and stuff? <laughs> That's taxes. <laughs> That's what that is. Oh, mirror entity. Oh no. That well, is, that, is well, that could go wrong. It, it just did go wrong. It just did. It go definitely. Wrong. I mean, he has like a, the. Oh man, another to give him, right? That is rough oh, too. Really crappy draws. But I mean, that gets on is that's three for one. Wild growth and two innervates. That is so crappy. Yeah, but the Kazan is three for one, so it's like <laughs> I don't know. Does it's it matter good. that you draw two dead cards? It might not. 
Well, it's funny that Life Coach is sitting here thinking as if there is a possibility in the universe that he wouldn't play the light yeah. the uh Kazan. Oh god. A show's face? Oh he's just nodding there. Oh god. Oof. Well that sucks. Not if you're life coach though. Not life coach quite happy about that. What is he innervating? There's only one card to innervate. <laughs> <laughs> he's not getting apprentices, uh. okay? It's <laughs> I mean, the wild crow, this, the borders are glowing green, so I guess that's an option, right? <laughs> it is one of the options. I think he just wants to push for the board to the point where the yeah. mage has to use removal on, on creatures. Wow, but his hand is so dead. I mean, he does draw two cards next turn, counting the wild crow to still. Huh. Okay. Okay, that's well, a that's draw. a card. That actually works out pretty darn well. Yeah, I know I had Sean into Blast Mage. Depends on where the Blast Mage lands. If it's like phase three times and once in the zombie show, it's not gonna be pretty. No, but hmm. potentially it's gonna yeah. be. Yeah, it's 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 best the game. best yeah. shot for sure. Absolutely. And then the next turn he does have Antonius and a couple we parts. Just, you just have to keep in mind, like because the mage is um, so reliant on the Arc Mage. If that doesn't work, it's gonna be game over. Mm -hmm. And um, Druid has almost no cards left, though. Yeah, yeah but the Ancient of Lord can kind of change that instantly. Yeah, very much so. All right, let's see. Do you ping first? I think you do, right? No, yeah, why would you? There's no reason. Not. There's oh, no yeah, reason. yeah, yeah. No reason. Never mind. Oh, that oh that's bad. That's so bad. It's about as bad as it could be. It's really bad. What do you ping? <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Oh, what a draw. Yeah. Oh, that, that's the card I was talking about. That'd be really, yeah. really, really good to draw. How did you know? Crip has been on fire with that, actually, to be honest. Oh, and that's a pretty, pretty good redraw there. Wow, yeah, that's so sick. Just the, I don't know. Which awesome Belcher. card do you play here? Oh. You play the Belcher. You just innovated oh. that. Or I end up, I don't know. It's actually close because the the Shredder does have more attack, and there's not going to be anything left in the board after this. He could also go face if he really wants to, but uh, there's no Savage Roar yet. I think you just take the trade. It's like way too good to pass up. Yeah. Kazan did some serious, oh serious my work God. here. That's a and lot it may of not matter. fireballs. <laughs> okay, hold on, math. <laughs> uh, so Antonitis, two spare parts, is four fireballs. Four times mm -hmm. six is 24. Nope. That's you good. have the option to just fireball on the 5-5 five five and pinging the zombie chow. I actually kind of like that. Yeah. But, I mean... That's good. I like he could it. also like Antonidas maybe just play this yeah. bear, but hope for a frostbolt top deck. Yeah, but even it's with the frostbolt top deck, if life coach with this few cards in hand, mm -hmm. he is going to use hero power every turn. Yeah. So it won't actually kill him. You have to do more than that. Plus the, the creatures would just kill you. I don't. I don't know if like fireballing up. Well, no, the creatures have to run into Antonidas. Oh, that's right. So, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. I, th I think this is like the winning play. Like, how do you win if you start fireballing the lore? You need to have the Undernitis to survive, but he, it's not going to yeah. survive. And he already drew all of his like weak cards, the Druid did. Yeah. Like, he only has good draws coming up. That's right. That's I guess that's the weakest of the good draws. But well, we're going to get a redraw here with the Wild Growth. Yeah. Maybe we'll get one a little bit less weak. Mm -hmm. Unless it's the other one. Yeah, it probably will be. Wild Growth and the Wild Growth. He already did mm -hmm. use the other one. <laughs> I remember there was like uh, one, uh, one match that we played like a year ago. Not, not we, but... Our, our teams. Okay. And there was like three or four cards in the deck. Yeah. And it was top deck wild growth into top deck wild growth into can't play the other card because you need more than six mana. It's <laughs> <laughs> good. Nice news. draw. Yeah. Oh, hello. That's a good one. Smork. Oh, okay. I like this. No. He's not, he knows he's all good. Like yeah. Pretty much forcing them. I have balls on something small. Is that good? Which one? Is this really a good idea? I think so. Do you know what I see? I see another explosive sheep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that, that would be, be amazing. Yeah. That would be fantastic. I think if you show, you're just going to go for it. I mean, fireballing lore, fireballing. Shredder. Zombie no, he has to fireball oh. the zombie. Yeah, okay. if, if it, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Like, it's either the Shredder, or it's the Zombie Chum, and hope that there's nothing else. Ah, oh, mm. sucks. <laughs> How heavily do you rely upon this sheep? I do you feel the it's sheep already have the Doomsayer? once this game. I mean, it's obviously <coughs> likely. <laughs> it's obviously what likely. Else? Yeah. Like, what are the options? If he fireballs the Lord, fireballs the the zombie, he's gonna heal up back to 16. He can kill off the Belcher. That would be uh, the shade is gonna grow, to so there would be eight power on the board. That's actually not too bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's uh, it's the safer option. I think he does have still yeah. have a chance with that. I mean, he knows that he's dead to Savage Roar, but I mean, you can't play around everything in this, but... Do you use a ping or clockwork? Probably the clockwork. Hope to get, like, a think taunt. So. Like, the ping doesn't seem to do anything at yeah, all. It, I was just thinking it might be able to clear the slime the next yeah, turn. no faith in the explosive sheep. No. Yeah, I guess that's a thing. Nor should he. Yeah, that's, <laughs> you're actually right about that, that there could be like a ping on the slime. If, if you ping it now, you could potentially like ping it again next time yeah. to remove it. It's just, I guess if this guy goes away, the thing is that he already used like Wrath and he already used two swipes. Yeah. Oh, there's the other Wrath. <laughs> Hello. I think you just, uh, lore ancient lore. For, uh, for Savage Roar, really? Yep. Lethal? Savage Roar is lethal. Yeah, if he, at least if he plays two, I mean... He hasn't used the Savage Roar, Roar yet, right? No, this 11 cost. Savage yeah. Roar is exact lethal, and he has not used one. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. And if you used Force of Nature like you did, you bet your ass there's another one in there. I mean, how bad can the draws go? Like, even if you don't get it, you can just, like, brought and maybe trade if you want to. Oh, Damn. oh hello. And there it is. <laughs> it's mandatory now. Yeah. Okay. Checking, double checking, triple checking. And here we go. All right. Life Coach up two now against Yeah. Show. Life Coach really playing very well. I yeah. think Show's playing really well as well. It's just going Life Coach's way. Yeah, I really feel like the lineups are favoring Life Coach. And uh, also, like, he's been playing flawlessly. Yeah, and the thing is, it, like, he's thinking very clearly after eating bananas and mixed nuts. Mm -hmm. uh, because those are, like, really clean, energy-giving foods. No, the clean, energy-giving food are the fake meats of Germany. The fake meats? Yeah. I can't wait to try this after the cast. It just... Mm. Still kind of warm. Doesn't that look good, Sweets? Well, it looks like it's not even like vegan food. <gasps> so it looks decent. All right. Would you like to try? Nah, not really. <laughs> I'll, I'll get the good stuff later. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're cooking it right now. Yeah. So you'll be fine. Okay. All right. So uh, Mage for Life Coach coming up. Yes. And she well, are you going to go Mage or Warrior here as show? I don't know. Like all of the... But it seems so bad. Yeah. Mage? Okay. If the mirror match, yeah, the mirror match, I actually think it's like his best bet. But is uh, Life Coach playing mech? Yeah, I yeah. think they both are. So, she always in a deep well, hole. We, we, right we know now. Show's playing mech because he's played it. <laughs> the keen clap, I love it. Yeah. So, she, o <laughs> she always not doing so well. No. Like, this is really rough. It's actually Show's hand that we are showing. Showing. We're yeah, okay. really in a race to finish today, guys. 3-0. Wow. Three zero. There's another one. Bam. Well, yeah. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, it is going quickly. Well, it, tonight is like the uh, party night. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why. Yeah. Everyone oh, just see. wants to make sure that no one has to stay up too late. Mm -hmm. It's very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. Well, the double chugga chugga. I don't think Chugga Chugga is that great of a card in this in this mirror. No, I mean freezing doesn't do much, but it's still has something to um, something to play on turn two. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to throw it all away and draw into like okay. Fireball, Fireball, Frostbolt. Well, I really like Life Coach's hand way more. Yeah. Why is that? Is, is there some some cards that have synergy in Mech Mage? Uh, <laughs> your mechs cost one less. Oh, that sounds good if you have Max a in lot your deck? of mechs. Yeah. yeah. You only have one of the mechs. Oh man, man. double cog master. So ridiculous. I don't know if it gets any better than that. It doesn't. It doesn't. He trades into anything. It doesn't matter what is played on the Good. other side. He kills it. Like, the best thing you could have is uh, wild I actually think uh, Atron's probably better here now. Because you can't play a mech and ping. Mm. Well, yeah. I don't know. I, I think I would annoy Atron. At least then you can use your... Well, crap. Nothing works here. This like sucks. This, yeah, this is... <laughs> Chaka at least, like, trades one for one. Yeah. The annoy Atron just... Uh, Guys, and then there's two, three ones left, and you will never have a mech on board to make oh. the, to the blast mage, which he doesn't even have just yet. Alright, watching show's face. Uh, 
That's the face of defeat, guys. Nah, it's just his normal face. <laughs> well. Yeah, spider tank's decent. Yeah. You can't hope for more than to decent that frost here. Bolt no, I mean, flies out of his hand. But he's so far behind. Oh, wow. God. Frost bolt. What are you talking about? Yeah, that was stupid of me. <laughs> I think I'd actually uh, maybe sack the two little ones. I think you might only sack that... Uh, the two one. The two one. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Nah, you throw it in the boat. What yeah, you're right. Do. Just throw in boat. You have the board control. I mean, you you don't want to run into a blast mage, I think. The thing is, do you throw in the mech warper or the uh, cog smith? <laughs> the cog smith. <laughs> I think the I yeah. think the cog smith. Yeah. Because just you want to have two backs. Yeah, because you, your shredder might die, and then you want to have an activation for the blast yeah. mage. So. But you definitely got to clear it because, like, how does your opponent come back against this board? Mm -hmm. A perfect blast mage. Yep. Yeah. It's kind of scary with the blast mage. Yeah, that's I mean, that's what gets, he's thinking if about he gets right a now. Good blast mage. This is like shut out. Yeah. But it has to be really good. Three on the pilot is shredder for explosive ship, then one on the explosive ship. No. Oh, that doesn't work, unfortunately. I don't, I don't think that's so. That's not what I meant. I meant if, uh, <laughs> if Life Coach does oh, yeah. a good blast mage, it's going to yeah, be true. completely over. Yeah. Oh, he's going to sacrifice the mech warp over there. Oh, he wants uh, one point. Yeah. Okay. But now, now if uh, Shio had a way to clear the pilot is shredder, he actually couldn't get the yeah. battle cry from the blast mage, and the cog master would also be down to one attack. And hey, this is kind of why he kept the Cogsmith, is to be able to take yeah. out the piloted Shredder. Well done, coach. Yeah. Oh, no. He played that Blast Mage way too quickly. That works. Did, yeah. did, did Life Coach just rush into a play and it <laughs> bit him in the ass? <laughs> it, uh, that is true. <laughs> I think the absolute play there was to just kill it with the Shredder. Uh, Wait, yeah. what? Actually, you are correct about that. Wait, what? To kill the totem with the shredder and then blast mage. Yeah. Oh. That's very true. He missed two points of damage because of that. Right? Yeah. Uh, Wait, no. did he? No, he, he, no. he gained no. damage, but, but now yeah. he that's loses tempo. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to have to like get one more attack on it anyway. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of nice for an Oyotron. There so should he's, be a he's mech like, totem, He's like way. forced to ping it again. But yeah, I mean, like imagine, imagine only hit it once there. Yeah. yeah. That would have been ridiculous for an Oyotron. That's like so sick with the second blast mage. Wow. But I guess like if he doesn't, if it if it goes really poorly, let's say three of the it's going face and one on the Tinker Town technician, <laughs> that an Oyotron actually contests the pilot shredder and almost even it's kills the whole board. That. Yeah. Just the whole board. So do you? The shredder will die, and then the yeah, that's so sick. But I mean, if you life coach here, and because of that tiny, tiny misplay, well, I guess it wasn't that tiny, but still, uh, it seems tiny. Do you play it safe? Because you're so far ahead. Your opponent is already down to 18. So do you just like ping off the? No, I don't know. Like it's so bad to ping that, mm. because then you can't get the nine through with your minions. Just yolo blast mage and try to hit one on the. Yeah. <laughs> one on the totem, one on Look, the... Look, Blast Mage no normally is true, okay? Yeah. It wasn't last game, and it wasn't this game. Which means it's due to be true. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Statistically speaking, it's like 90% if it missed both times before. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I thought I knew statistics. Ah, you don't. Rope oh. Coach. Here we go. His name. Let's see. Whew. He does hit one on the... But that was not like the perfect, no. perfect uh, ever. But it was not a complete failure either. It okay. was almost a complete failure. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was one point shy of complete failure actually. Yeah. It was it was bad, but uh, I mean it could have also been worse. But probably good enough. Yeah, I would I would say that it's looking his way. Yes. All right. Let's see if Joe's. Blast match is any better? Nope. Oh, is that it? No, not quite yet. <laughs> so he has blast matches. Fourteen damage right now. People watching like, man, why These would you guys play this deck? <laughs> <laughs> These blast mages are garbage. Yeah. Mm. Why not just put in chillwind yetis? <laughs> 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 yeah, they have that extra health. 
Yeah, I guess they do. That's a great idea. Fits right in with the mech, mm -hmm. too. Chill wins and mech yetis fighting side by side. <laughs> that's that's a world I want to live in. Yeah. All Crip wants is a robot friend. <laughs> if you if you go, it's go face. I think so. Yeah, he can put him, put him put Joe down to a fireball yeah. range already, and it looks like he's gonna have a lot of turns. He has he has a frost bolt. He has his ping. It's like yeah. it's just so much damage. But the trade is the trades are also quite good. But I mean, getting your opponent down to seven when you play your deck with fireballs. Yeah, and, and even a frost bolt in hand already, which makes the second frost bolt little too. I think you just go for it. I There's mean. like no way for him to actually deal with everything. No. What can go wrong? Yeah. It is a mech deck, but he's not playing anti keel bot, so, you know. Yeah. All right, here we go. Finally, we're going to get a decent Blast Mage. You think this one is going to be decent? No. <laughs> <laughs> I do think you might want to hit the Pilot of Trigger yes. with yes. the Agreed. Blast Mage. You hit I that first. So, and then, then yeah. count on Twilight Drake, and then get the, the sweep <laughs> for damage Blast Mage into, like... Uh, like a vitality totem off nice. the shredder. All right, that works. Yeah, that's a good. That's plan. a possible comeback right there. Yeah. Seems quite likely too. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, definitely one of several actually, possible scenarios. Actually, I'm pretty sure I've gotten two Twilight Drakes in the same game. Wow, you are really Skygolas. you're so bad at Pilot Sky Golem. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously, it was against the Mage, so yeah. oh, they did man. a lot of work. <laughs> But I mean, Twilight Drake four one. It's not that bad. It's almost Magma Rager. Yeah, almost. Um, it's a one-eyed, one-eyed cheat, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he actually isn't gonna have time if he doesn't do this. Oh my God. That is his best hope, though. I think so. Yeah, he should have. He should have traded the pilot of this guy gone first. I feel like. Well. Okay. Well, that's not bad enough. And uh, that is that. Oh, that sucks. Oh. All right. Life that just coach sweep. Yeah, that was, was that the fastest coach. life coach series we've ever seen. Yes, it was. I can't even remember why people call him the rope coach. Yeah, that was so fast. Maybe those he, maybe, people are just maybe haters, he just man. ate really well in the morning, and he had a good rest, and he was just so pumped that things were just you know yeah. mm -hmm. overclocked to the max. All right, so pretty sick win there for uh, Life Coach against Show. Yep. Yeah. Show heading to the loser's bracket. That's uh, going to be unfortunate. We're going to uh, probably see the, the winners face off against each other uh, when, uh, when we're up again, though. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll get Life Coach here in a second for uh, a quick uh, quick chat. Yeah. So it's going to be Life Coach versus a leash. Yeah. A leash. A two, leash. two three O's. That's right. It's super fast. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. But I mean, interesting. I actually didn't miss the Alash series, but uh, it was life was way quicker than Yeah, it was that. easy. Oh, it was even quicker. It was just it like was over about 12 minutes, yeah. Like, we didn't even, uh, I wasn't wow. even warmed up to speaking, and it was just, I looked down, I'm like, oh, he has a lethal what? Game three. Yeah. Wow. Crazy stuff. No, it, it was like turn one, shade, turn two. What was turn two? Wild growth, and then shade again. Can I get a mic? No. All right. Life Coach, that was the fastest series you've ever played. Yeah, probably. <laughs> hold, hold the mic oh. right. Probably, yeah. 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 Uh, I Very mean, good stuff. 3-0. Today's a 3-0 day. It's good to come up on the three, at least. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. Uh, so what do you think about that series? Like, What went wrong for show there? Well, I think um, his warrior, of course, is not very good against my classes. Mm. So, um, warrior is very good against Rogue or Hunter, but very bad against my classes. Mm. So. Yeah, but the warrior was not the problem here for him. He didn't even play the warrior and you just completely destroyed him. Yeah, well, I mean, the, <laughs> the mech mirror <laughs> was a lot of luck, right? I mean, I get like the perfect end, he gets nothing, so... Yeah, like well, that one was pretty sick. Yeah, it, but it seemed like in that set, Goblin Blast Mage was terrible. Mm. Like why? Why even? Oh, play the that blast card? mage missed every ping. Like every blast mage sucked. Oh, I, I cannot influence that. 
You got to keep the positive mindset. Mm -hmm. uh, did you happen to catch Alesha's series right before? Because it was even faster than that. Yeah, uh, uh, he three would in like ten. Three would in about yeah twelve minutes, I'd say. Yeah. No, no, I, I haven't seen that. But well, I, you I have really... time to watch it yeah. before he sets up his decks, probably. Yeah. So okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You'll you'll be facing him uh, when we come back, uh, and that that should be quite a match. Yeah, I'm guessing someone will go three zero against the other. <laughs> That's my guess. And I bet you in that loser bracket someone's going 0-3 again, man. <laughs> We're just going to be out of here tonight in no time. Yep. All right, cool. Any other questions for Life Coach, you guys? No, congratulations. And yes, uh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, thank looking you, strong. Thank you very this much. Is, uh, yeah, this is the first time I've, uh, I've got to cast uh, Life Coach live. Yeah. It was very different than what I expected. Well... <laughs> well, you just you hear all the negative things, but yeah. he is a fast player. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, we're going to go ahead, jump to a quick commercial break, and uh, get this next match going.